Hi guys, and welcome to episode 16 of Red Dead Redemption 2. So in the previous episode, we finally wrapped up chapter 2, but before doing that, we helped Micah with another robbery, said hi to Albert Mason, and witnessed a cross burning that didn't go as planned. So welcome to our new camp, everybody. I already took a look at my lovely tent here, and uh, I like the placement of it. It's near the water, just how I like it. I really liked Horseshoe Overlook, but I must say that this place is absolutely gorgeous and it feels super safe and I was just wondering why. But maybe it's because there is some water nearby. I'm really digging that. And also the fact that there is this big tree right here. Just the fact that it's like super huge and it's like spreading its branches, you know, on top of us. It, it, it kind of feels like it's trying to keep us, you know, safe. I don't know how to explain that. It's almost like an umbrella. Hmm. Anyway, um, I haven't taken a look at the camp just yet, but I noticed that there is a dot right here. Oh, so, say whatever ah. you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. Oh, excuse me, is that a knife? Me, I'm gonna kill you. Hey, 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 hey. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping. Vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Oh, we got some levitating <laughs> cans over there. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Move Ooh. here! Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Miss Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me? Sure. While you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? I I'm pretty sure she doesn't appreciate the nickname. <laughs> So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm liking her already. Good. I, uh, oh, letter from Pearson. Can we pick up the pace here? Sewer, Sadie, sewer. I guess. No, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's the letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's <laughs> where we draw the line. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Apparently <Yeah>. not. <clears throat> okay, who is he writing to? Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, <laughs> so I pray to the Lord above. I love how she's imitating him. Not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Sure. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. What? Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alien. Ah. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore or whatever they changed it to. Right. <laughs> That's actually Here, pretty smart. Give me that back. You got work to do. 
poor Pearson. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad that we... Uh, I feel like we're getting to know Sadie a little bit better. I'm happy about that. She's not just crying in a corner no more. Okay, so we are obviously heading to Rhodes and to the butcher, maybe? Or to the store? It's been a while since we've last been here. Hello, people. Where are we leaving our. His flow is never so gonna get there in this place. Horses here, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. No? Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. Here we are. Oh, yeah. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! You insane! I thought we was outlaws. <laughs> outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Right. Alright, uh, so we're going to post that. I want to take a look at not the journal. <laughs> not not this time. Uh, but the satchel, because we got a grocery what shopping list. Aw. Oh. I think Sadie took it already. Alright. Uh, we can't read this either, so. Alright. All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's go and send some mail. Lovely. So Sadie is definitely ready for action. Maybe she's a bit too excited, but. What did you get there, Errol? Nothing. What do you Howdy. mean? Nothing. Hello there, What's Mister. The park? Look, get some ointment, all right? For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Ointment for private things. I have a guess of. I was supposed to take a look at this earlier. When we were here, you know, um, trying to catch Billy Midnight. Mister. Hello, fella. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Yeah. Oh, he does not care. Hello, lady. I mean, you're hey, not a lady. Sorry, mister. Hello, sir. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I actually thought that was a skirt, but... Yeah, I think oh, I need glasses. Alright, so... Hello. Let's see. Has this door always been here? Well, I guess so. Alrighty, so. Can I help you, mister? Yes. yes. I would like to post a letter. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna send the. Um, what is this? The fish somewhere. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Thanks. Actually, uh, I have this thing called bounty and i do want to pay it off kind of expensive but actually i just realized i could have turned myself do do, in sir? well whatever i'm financing this place hmm are these bathrooms perhaps no idea i actually want to go out this way because i haven't taken a look at this area Hello, hey, mister. mister. Hello there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm mean, coming. I wonder if we can rob these Shit. luggages. Maybe not, you know, during the daytime, but maybe at night time. Hello, mister. Gentlemen. Hello there. You're looking very thin. Oh, 
Alright, let's go back to Sadie. Ah, there's the back door, look. I'm sorry, what is this? Is there something on the roof? Sorry, Sadie, I'm getting distracted all over again. I'm feeling that we could use this for something. What? I have no clue. We should probably say hi to the gunsmith while we're here. Don't you think? I guess he would be very happy to see us. And probably he feels a little bit, um... Hello, sir. Hello there. He might feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, uh, I can take a look at this a little bit later. Let's go to Sadie because she is waiting for us. Oh, nice outfit. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. I no, see you did some. Then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Fashion shopping. <laughs> okay, get on. I'm about done here. Sure. Hmm. I wanted to pet the dog. You don't need to check if I'm doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 princess. Hop on. I'll be right with you. I'm trying, but I don't remember what button to press. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Yep. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, Okay, let's go back. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. True. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. <laughs> I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. I'm trying. Hey, there. hey. Hi. What, uh. What you folks up to? Just heading home. I feel like you're, you're not up to any good. Country. Keep it cool, you need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, Shut I don't up. Think so. No, I don't. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Oh, there's pull another over. guy next to That's us. That's what I said. Hi. How's about this? Go, go, go! Go, 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 Oh, I was wondering why we couldn't go any faster before. Really? Well, well, just a second. I know we are going to die if I do it right now. All right, all right. Okay. Well. Wanted to see some action, let's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Closer, closer. Okay, this, this is better. Is you okay there, Sadie? Behind the rock, behind the rock. Can you tell that it's been like a week since I've last played this? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. I don't remember asking you to prove it. I'm trying to find a good place to stand on. It's none of these, I can tell. Oh yeah, Lancaster Repeater, nice. You are enjoying this car too much. Well, I can tell that she is really enjoying the fighting, which oh, that's Sadie. Where he was. 
I have not been missing you guys. N not at all. <laughs> Great. At least we know that Sadie is actually really good at shooting. Which is wonderful. Wonderful news. But yeah, I was kind of wondering like why we couldn't ride any faster, you know, earlier. I thought that I just didn't remember how to play this game anymore. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is in here. Please don't pay any attention to what's happened. Why am I loading the corpse now? Let's <laughs> just continue our journey. There's nothing to see here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, all right. There's something else here. I feel like we should probably buy more ammo because we are running out of those. Use, I, I think we used majority of our ammo in the previous episode where we were, uh, you know, helping Micah out. But yeah, let's go. Let's go, Sadie. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. <laughs> I'm fine. Careful. Well, you show those bastards, huh? Remind to play me point. on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Uh, which not. way? Oh! <laughs> okay, uh... So who do they I guess we can make it if I turn here. Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have um, traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I uh, won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon. What are we sure. doing? <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of boggles. Not a chance. Okay, so as you can tell, I... We are so lost. No, 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 not that way. Okay, um... Let's fix this, uh, fix this situation, because... Well, I'm trying, Sadie. <laughs> but I don't have my driver's license with me, as you can probably tell. You sure this is the right way? Uh, absolutely not. I'm gonna fix this in a bit, but yeah, um, I can tell that Sadie really likes some action and she wants to be treated as equal, which I don't blame her. I kinda see myself in her. And it's good to see that she's finally ready to move, move on from the past, I think, because we have seen her being very sad and just, I don't know, depressed over the past, what, 10 plus episodes? Maybe she's done mourning. Or you never really, you know, truly are, but... I guess this is the right time for her to move forward. Right this way then. Mm, is this good? You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we uh Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping. Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. 
You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Come on, there's nothing wrong wearing pants as a woman. I mean, yeah, it's probably kind of weird in, you know, times like this, but... I like her. I like her fashion sense. Oh, by the way, we... Not the channel. <laughs> Right, uh, so we got a... Uh, where is that? A request from Sadie. For a harmonica. Okay, I need to find one. Didn't I actually get one? I just ain't doing that no more. We always have to sing for our stuff on this. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, hey. that's fine too. Hi, yeah. uncle. I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dud. Do whatever you goddamn please. Susan is at it again. Horrendous old hag! How dare she! How dare she? Um, I guess she's not that popular around the camp, but uh, I feel like I've already found a harmonica like a billion years ago, and I've been, you know, I've been planning to take a look at it and maybe play it, but I just never remember to do that. Where is it? I'm pretty sure we have gotten one. Well, maybe I haven't then. I don't know. Maybe I saw it somewhere. Like, I'm not sure anymore. Or have I sold that? No idea. Why, why did I have a feeling that I had a harmonica? There he is. The man who saved my heart. Oh, Micah. Once, Hi. But twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. Well, you're welcome. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. <laughs> you're Arthur. the first person ever told me that. Mm. Yeah, it feels weird, honestly. Okay, who called me? Marston? Hey. Killy, maybe? Arthur! Yeah, hi, Tilly. What's up? Oh, play dominoes, I should. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd mm -hmm. like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. Don't we all? I will. <laughs> you fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I, I think she will probably Can't leave both of us alone, so I'm, 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 I'm so did. in. Oh, yeah. I thought uh, something looked different. Well, I stole that one. Okay. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you too. Hmm. An item request. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at that a bit later. Alright, few tiles. Okay, do I have a six or a four? Ah, okay, play tile. Right, right. I think maybe that. Mr. Ah, we have number of available moves. Let's put it here. Well, hmm. Oh yes, one. Um. Okay, what should we do? We have a five. And a two, I don't remember what the blank tile means. Can you put it like anywhere you wish? I guess so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Um actually I'm gonna try. Okay, this tile has no available moves. Ah, uh, alright. 
I think I like this spot better than Horseshoe Overlook now. Sure. Same. I'm not sure if I'm doing okay. Mm. Okay, let's place this. Because I don't know where else to put it. We're in some trouble, my friend. Hmm. Okay, number four. Let's put this one. Then we have a final piece. Domino. I must think I you're real lucky. There we Yay. go. Arthur has played all their oh, tiles, sorry. all right. Here. Hmm. I'm not sure if I completely understood this, but I'm just gonna play. Uh, so we are selecting the tile. I'm gonna open with this, I think. So, apparently I need... Where I want many its points. This ain't worth nothing. Right. Okay, so that doesn't count because it's empty basically. So if I put this right there, does it mean that I will there, but all for nothing. get more points? Well not because it's not you can't really divide it by five, I don't think. Well, I don't know. Let's see. This is the only one that has any available moves, I think. Let's put it here. Mm. I was just about to say I that I think I need to. <laughs> I, I think I need to get another tile. Well, whoops for you. I guess I kind of feel bad for you. Oh come on! <laughs> really? <sighs> Oh my lord. Perfect. There we go. Well, I can finally uh what is it anyway? Well, let's put it in. This one? No, actually. Well, yeah. Let's see what Tilly does. Dang it. Nothing on this one. You're really using all the dominoes, it seems like. Domino. Oh, darn it. Good. I'm afraid nothing. <laughs> I'm liking this. Uh, I should play dominoes and card games more often because I feel like this could be some really good, like, relaxing time after, you know, a long day of hunting and pillaging and, I don't know, murdering people. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What are we gonna start with? I think this. Nothing here. Hmm. I actually thought that we would get more dialogue out of Tilly, but... I guess she is just uh, enjoying the peace and quiet, which I understand. Susan can be a bit there, much but, sometimes. Nothing. But yeah, I've been talking so much shit about Susan, <laughs> you know, during our time with this game, but I feel like she she also has a heart, but maybe something happened to her that made her so, I don't know, bitter, maybe? And maybe there will come a time when we will... Uh, not Just, much I don't me. know, learn more about her past. And we will get an explanation of why she acts the way she does. Maybe. <laughs> Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Actually, I do. I do. You want to do your hair? Excuse me? You know. Hair pomade. No. I don't? Well, if you happen to find some. Sure. I'll buy you some hair pomade. 
All right, he wants some of that. Really, I don't have any. I actually thought that I would. Oh, give request. Yeah. Is that a hair pomade you wanted? Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I you reckon do. we should both just forget this ever happened. <laughs> All good. You know me. Well, well look, look at him. Is it true about the bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Mm. Seven years? We won't see seven <laughs> years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. All right. The camp members are wanting a lot of items, I can tell. Uh, so a mirror, a pocket mirror, to be exact. Okay, I, I guess somebody else wanted something too. Like, wasn't that... Well, Sadie wanted the uh, harmonica and Tilly wanted a necklace? I do have a necklace on me, don't I? Okay, I gave you the hair pomade. Ah, and Jack has asked for a Penny Dreadful book. I completely forgot about this. And Dot still wants the pipe. That I haven't found. Actually, very sady. Do I have anything hey, why don't for you join us here? Uh, sure, just a second. I want to talk to Sadie. Uh, just so you know, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. Who, Mrs. Adler? Those old Driscolls. I'm gonna find them and kill each and every one of them bastards. Just watch me. You've had a bad time, but but we ain't in the revenge business. It don't keep you fed. <laughs> Just watch me. Oh, she really wants her revenge. I can tell that. Um. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Evening. I'm still trying to talk to Sadie because I'm pretty sure I. Yes, I Got had it! I remembered right! I just couldn't find it for some reason. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh, fair enough. Alright. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. Nice evening. No worry. Oh, Jesus. Manners. Manners. Stop evening, bumping into Arthur. me. Um. But yeah, who else needed something? Tilly wanted the necklace. I'm pretty sure that I have a pearl necklace on me, don't I? I think I do, but... Where is Tilly? Oh, there. Hey! Um... The necklace? Don't worry, Arthur. Domino's isn't for everyone. Found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. What is it? Health gear. Nice. I'm an errand boy. <laughs> A happy one. Sorry about the weird cut. Uh, I got a surprise visitor that I obviously wasn't expecting. And then I continued playing and uh, I was, you know, playing... Uh, what was that play game called? Uh, five finger fillet with Micah when I realized that I am not recording. So that was fun. But yeah, basically what happened was that I was sitting at the campfire with uh, Lenny and the boys, and uh, Lenny shared something very well, personal about time. his mother and times before the war. He was talking about slavery and how people of color and especially women had a really rough time. But yeah, that's basically what ended up happening. So I feel like people at the camp are actually... Ooh. Hey, I'm not gonna say no to live music. Beautiful. Que pronuncian sus labios de carmín. Son palabras que al nacer las lleva el viento. I see, right? I actually thought that the chicken just burned itself alive. 
Del Maybe it did. I'm not sure. Oh, it, it bloody did. <laughs> what? I like that one. The song or the chicken? <laughs> I think the song. Yeah. You okay. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Yeah. Bad enough to need to move. That's for sure. Yeah. My guy is levitating here. Well, I should get back to it. Yes, yeah, see you later. Yeah, thanks. Well... This was a weird way to catch a chicken, but I mean... <laughs> Why not? I'm just gonna donate this to the camp now that we are here. Just for the sake of it. Oh boy. Mm, okay, where's the chicken? Here. Very good. We were getting low. <laughs> well, good job, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, thanks. Actually, now that we are donating things. Where is the litcher? I wanna find it because um I was thinking whether it's a, you know, good idea to upgrade Dutch's lodging. But then I was mentioned, or that was mentioned in the comments that I probably should. So... I, I, I wanna do it. I wanna see what happens. Even though it just uh, sounds, sounds like something that's gonna be so unuseful and just not helpful at all, but... Encourages others to donate. I'm gonna try this. Good. Oh, it looks nice. Next in line. Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. Ah. Oh yeah, it's for Arthur. Unlocks the fast travel map, allowing you to quickly travel to previously discovered locations. Also unlocks grooming supplies. Interesting. That would be really good, actually. I didn't think that we would have more fast traveling options. I guess we should contribute to now that we have uh, some items on us. Um, because we couldn't donate anything for a while because the camp was about to move for the gang. Good. And then some more. I think that's enough. Alright. I'm gonna keep some money on me just in case I wanna buy something. I don't think 176 is too bad. Be carrying around. I'm just gonna take a quick look at the camp before we go and talk to Dutch because I want to do that. I actually wanted to do that you earlier. You've spoken to Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. Sounds good. You're lucky he made me come for you. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say. Yeah, it's good to have him back. I actually thought that Micah didn't come here. And I think I said that in the previous episode, but I'm glad that he did. He's back now. Alright. What else? I think everything is pretty much the same. There's some ammo here. Medicine. Hmm. Hey, what else? Oh. There's another campfire here. What's this for? Is this Kieran's place, perhaps? No? Actually, where is Kieran? I haven't seen him in a while. It's a beautiful night. We're set by fire. We're alive. <laughs> For now. 
Yeah, I know, death, despair, disaster all around us, but, you know, who cares? Well, Uncle doesn't, they ain't <laughs> apparently. Here. At least he's oh, staying optimistic. Sing us a song, somebody. Well, huh? I feel nobody feels like singing at the moment. Somebody, sing us a song. Ah, uh, no thanks. Please. <laughs> I can't take much more of this misery. Oh. Yeah, I know we're miserable company. This can be the camp is actually quite big. It's a lot bigger than the previous one, or maybe it just looks like it. Hi hens. Chicken and the horses. I got a lot more hitting posts, that's good. Where is Kieran? I would think that he has his own place, like somewhere hidden. Oh yeah, it's the Bible. Is there anything new inside of it? Nah, it's the same old, same old. Poor guy. I really hope that he doesn't overdose on accident. What's that? Is that... Is that a boat? Oh, it is! Or it used to be. Hmm. Nothing interesting there. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. I actually thought that there would be something here. Aha! There is. Pirate rum. Is that a card? I'm seeing cigarette cards everywhere. No, it's not. It's just a piece of wood. <laughs> but hey, uh, if he. Uh, where's the rum? Yeah, stamina experience. Oh, yeah. Okay, one is good enough. I've learned my lesson because previously I think I took two. Uh, I was so goddamn drunk that I passed out. <laughs> oh, that was nothing. I thought that it was a log or something. Alrighty, where is Dutch? And what's here actually? Sadie has left a reward. Oh, yeah! Let's go and check that out! Oh my god, we're so drunk. <laughs> but that cowardly killer that shot Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. Yeah! Very in a good mood. That's good. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty, let's go to our tent and see what's what's there. I don't think it's a good idea to go and talk to Dots while we're out in this trunk. Maybe we should sleep it off. I feel like that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, what is it? Uh, flower, yeah, I've seen that before. Ah. Nice, and some gun oil. Actually, I should probably... Oh yeah, I can't access my guns. Well, uh, they're gonna sleep for a while, till noon, I think. I feel like that's a good plan. Yeah, let's get some sleep. It's been a while since we last slept. Good morning, everybody. How oh, is it hanging? Oh, see? There's a dot on the map. Uh, actually, there are multiple dots at the map. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're the chores. The chores, obviously. Oh, what is it? Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hello. What do you want? 
I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. What keeps happening? Uh, do you All mean right, dropping well, stuff? I should be getting on. All right. I am worried about him. Maybe he is using again. What'd you call me? I don't know, he just seems like something is a bit off. Like, I understand, yeah, he's an alcoholic, he drinks and everything, but he's just acting so weirdly. And he's been acting weirdly for a while, or maybe I'm just thinking that he is, now that I know about his uh, former morphine use, but... I don't know, I hope that he's doing okay. Like, yeah, he is a little annoying sometimes, but I still don't want anything bad to happen to him. Hello, Hello Lenny. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but this is a good spot. It's just for now. Yeah. Anyway, I won't disturb you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I feel like this is a good place to be in. It's beautiful, it's warm. I like it. But yeah, anyway. Uh... Oh yeah, I think it's the gun oil. The dot on the map. Oh yeah, it is. Alright. Uh, so yeah, let's go talk, talk to Dutch. Because I wanted to do that at the start of this episode, but then we had this thing with Sadie. It was nice. It's actually uh, nice to get to know the ladies a little bit better, because I feel like we, we've gotten to know Arthur's, you know, closest friends, or the gang members who are closest to Arthur. But we haven't really been talking to the ladies, so... How you doing, old friend? <laughs> Uh, it's funny, us in and up down here. Mm -hmm. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Well, it is Although nice Jay out. Although says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Yeah. We should go fishing. That would be nice. I like Dutch's vest. Maybe I should get a vest. Like a good looking one. I would like that. Very much. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long. Always dream crushing and bubble burst. <laughs> Come on, Jose. Let's go with Come on, then. Yeah. Come on with us. Oh, this is nice. Oh, he is rocking a vest, too. Whoa. I didn't get the memo that this was the... I should be dressed for the occasion. I need to get a vest. It looks really Yo. cool. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. Thank you. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, 
Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? Harris? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Well, we need to stick together. Still, we do need money. Mm. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Sure. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've so, got to be discreet. No guns Imagine in roads. What a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Oh, where's the train? Oh, no, 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 go. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was over there. I actually thought that it was behind us. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. As always. Passing you. Go on. Just riding here in peace. Easy. Oh no. Hi. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. What? I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see yeah. if we can't sort this out. <laughs> yeah, this is a problem. At least we... How are you, boys? Now we know where he Fine. went. <laughs> this is quite he some cool. country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Archibald. It's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, well, no, 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 I no, think no. that's I'm not sure the only running wasn't. that they're going to do. He is a magician. I know him. Yeah, He's Arthur, a fool. Let's just close but our eyes. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Anderson boys? Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! And then Perhaps what? we can discuss the foolish magician. Foolish magician, Let's all right! after that train! Chase the train. Okay, that, that I can do. Come on, hurry! <laughs> All right, come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Yeah, not yet. Faster, I mean, Calcifer is, Calcifer is faster name, than sir? you think. Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Callahan, yes, faster, yes, that's Mr. me. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Uh, I get it. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my very, 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 very best. Come on! Like son of a bitch gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot Okay, what do we do now? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. What are you waiting for? I'm right here! Woo! Uh, idiot! Now get after the others. Come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Alright, so get we do what? the side of the train. Alright, side. Yeah. Right along the side of the train. I'm trying. Uh, See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. Uh, you think you can jump on there? Okay, not this one. Hey, jump! Me. What? Because you ride like my grandma. You are something else. Jump. Ooh, we did it. <laughs> I thought we did it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh damn it. Come on, Arthur. Oh, we've done this before. Go, 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 go. Uh, chase the remaining Anderson boys. Yes, gladly, gladly. All right, we've done this before. We know how this works. Come on. Oh my God, I'm actually running out of stamina. 
Don't let them get away. Cool. Bastard. Oh, beat him. Beat him. Damn, bastard. Get Come on, beat him. Me. Show him what you're made of. I'm gonna be dead. Come on, Arthur. Hit him. Come on. Good. Again. Hit like a child. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> No, hit him! Go, get after them! Uh, where? Alright. Go. Running ain't gonna help. Go, 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 go. I feel like we're going all the way to Sean Denis. Just go. you and me now, pal. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. Alright, alright. This is just us then, lawman. Come here. You ain't need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. So what are we doing? You ain't much of a fighter, huh? Knock out the Anderson boy, okay? I'm just worried sure? because he has a knife. Arthur, come on. Hit him. No, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't do it. Do it. Do it. Hit the guy. I don't remember how to block. I'm just gonna... I don't know. Who's talking now? Yeah, everything well, is fine and dandy. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. I think I did. Oh, just about. Oh yeah, we look. <laughs> we look rough. Bring him out here. Gladly. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. All right, let's go. A oh yeah, we job. are near Saint Denis. Well and a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. That was good. Well, that was rough. You'll wake if you don't get a move on. Honestly, there you go. You are a natural. You sir. Thank you. Uh, I feel like catching Billy Meat Knight was easier. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's ah. really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. Oh, I've practiced. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. Not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? Ah. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Gray family. Bone I dry. guess they are wealthy. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. Mm. My family's been working for them for years. Ah. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Oh yeah, I've Ain't been there before. what it was before. before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite. What? Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have Braith an estate Waits. west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Oh. Sounds like quite the place you got here. So I guess we're siding with the Greys then. All right, no weapons in roads, don't cause any trouble. I'm trying to remember that. All right. No funny business, we're act acting, you know, civilized. I think Here we can we do it. Welcome to Rhodes. Thank you. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. <gasps> oh, Very no, I haven't. reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. <gasps> I haven't visited that. We also I should. have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Mm. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure. Gladly. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Mr. Anderson. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. 
Hi. Hosea. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's one. <laughs> yes, so, that's me. <laughs> uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, Thank we're you. just honored to be here. Yeah, Make totally. your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. Mm. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't Braithwaite. thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. Huh? It's horrible, oh, you're but staying no there. one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out. Rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying Arthur. That's it. Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Super Sons. agents. Super agents. <laughs> Are you talking I'd about Miller one. and... It's just talk. I'm sure it is. Uh, I don't I know who the other guy you. was. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, always a lesser. I guess okay. we're gonna meet so him again when he is in trouble. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Yeah. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. Alright? Archibald. Thank you out there. Great weights Quite and graves. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh... Maybe, yeah. Sure, why not? Great. Yeah, Hosea, fishing sounds good. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Oh, he knows the spot. kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. What do you mean by that? Horses? Oh, they're coming. Things ain't so good. Had regular work till the rancher wanted something else to pick. I was a Christian and ended up on my right, ass. Uh, bleh. Let's go, boy. Ah! What happened? <laughs> All right, Hosea. Yeah. Show us the spot. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. Ah. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. Hmm. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Lonnie owes me for that. For a lot he does. Owes everyone for something. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. True. They're not suspecting anything, so that's good. Salon is like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Mm -hmm. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. 
You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies, I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. Yeah, maybe he's a clone. Or he's cloned himself. It seems like he's you know, everywhere at the same time. Uh, yeah. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. True. This is the spot. Oh. Down to the left there. To the left. Coming past. Okay, go. Blech. Yeah, it's a good thing that the sheriffs didn't recognize us because now we have some friends. Easy. I think that's a good thing. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Okay, so we are getting a boat. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, those it's the this boats place. You mean? Yes. Good. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Yes, yeah, surely not. Let's go. Oh, the birds are singing. Beautiful. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. I agree. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. You're supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can catch. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? Yeah. I'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Ah. Oh. Well, this is how it works. Good, I guess we can get some better fish here. I think here's good. All right, good luck, gentlemen. Uh, Where's your rod, Arthur? Well, you really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Oh yeah. Wrong with good old work. Uh, lake lure. I have one because I, I I bought it a while ago. Oh, uh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Right. They're nibbling. There he is. Was that something? Got a nibble there, Arthur. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can I I can feel it. I can feel it. No. Maybe if you caught a fish, we'd stop teasing. Oh come on. Again? Oh All right. Slowly. I don't know how slow I am supposed to rotate. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Oh yeah. 
Okay. Come on, Arthur. You can't go back empty-handed. I'm trying. You got a bite. Nah. All right. Oh yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on. Come on. You got something biting, Arthur. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Pulling the rod back further before releasing it will cast. Yeah. 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 Hmm. All right, I can see the fish. Come on, take a bite, take a Arthur, bite. Arthur, you have to catch one at least. I'm trying. All right, all right. There ain't a race. Yeah, I'll be right Arthur's in. got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. Good. That one. Damn it, I lost him. Come on. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. Take it. Come on. Oh, it's really fighting. Hey, look at this beauty. Beautiful. Look at that. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow ah. told me he once saw a monster lake oh, sturgeon yeah, near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I'm gonna I keep like this. To see that. You're getting the hang of this. Yeah. Hey, Jose. Do you remember that time we sent Orser out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. <laughs> I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week... Uh, Arthur and I are it. at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, Whoop. So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Come on. One more. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Wesley. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. One. one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession one. going over the bridge and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Come on, come oh, on. Dear God. Oh, this is a big one. I, swim to shore. I can feel it. Nice, you hooked him. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. That's a nice one. Oh, it's another Remember one of those. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. <laughs> never lost the puppy in him. Got right to the end. You know, okay, one more. I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. True. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back Ooh. that way anytime soon. Yeah, Pinkertons true. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. Oh, it's a new That's one. just how life goes. I nice haven't seen this down, before. Arthur. Ah, largemouth bass. Did I ever tell you my mother's hmm. buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only they like found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. Oh, that eye. wasn't good. I wasn't always a very obedient child. Mm. 
I can only imagine. Uh, I was just Still, about to say that. <laughs> I love her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. How? Oh. Hmm. Okay. One more fish. fish oh yeah. Line, oh yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on, come on. Come on here. I'm gonna cook you later. Maybe, if you're big enough. Come on. Oh, this is a tough cookie. Come on. This is pretty much the most Good fishing job, that Arthur. I've done in my whole entire life. Oh, what's that? A small mouth bass. So I have a, a big bite. mouth and a small ah, mouth one. Oh, I'm keeping Arthur's it too. Pleased with that one. Yeah. Alright, I think that's enough. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Alright. Alright. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Oh yeah, Good sure. Idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. True. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. Let's keep going, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Oh, no, thank you. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burnt and so did I. <laughs> that was, right. That was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Maiden is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground Oh, bravo! I really like singing. I like that. You know, we should not let the folks back too much. Yeah, obviously. Oh, we're almost there. Beautiful. We have unlocked rowing. I like this. Oh, maybe we could take a look at uh, these islands here. I guess these are islands, right? Sounds like a good idea. And we could do some more fishing. I guess we're leaving the boat here. All right. I think I. Well, I mean, we. 
You're gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. Mm. I'll give these fish that sounds like a good fine, idea. Dutch. Oh, that was fun today. <laughs> you didn't have to chase that train. I mean, that was fun too. Leopold Strauss. I say mission for us. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. I was what having a good want? time. Don't be like that. Uh, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Oh boy. Oh, what is that? I can see that there is a uh, look. What is that icon? Fish. I have here. Ah, go fishing. Well, not now. No, no, not now. Uh, we just did that. Let me actually cook something. Mr. Morgan? With the fish, maybe. I'm gonna try it, actually. At the campfire. You stood there laughing at me. I felt like a six year old. Go ahead, they says. Shoot us. So I did. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> the bastards have spotted me at the bar and taken the bullets out of me gun. Mm. So what I stood there about? laughing and crying. And rather than kill me, they took me and got me some food. That, of course, was that. Ah, is that how you got caught? Maybe. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yep. Yep. Why did that sound so sarcastic? <laughs> You're still just as useless at Robin now. It's you who's getting slow, old man. I'm in my prime. God help us. <laughs> Swanson? You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. Well, I should get back to it. Oh, uh, yes. I think I should. Up. Uh, okay, I can only sit by this. Maybe it's the other campfire where I could uh, prepare the fish if I wanted to. Well, I think I'm gonna donate this to the camp. I feel like that's a good idea. Donating stuff. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Actually, crafting up. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Badger and squirrel. We could be find so, a badger, a squirrel, elk, and panther. Elk shouldn't be too hard, but the panther, bison, and raccoon. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Yeah, I think I should go and do some hunting. Hi, evening. Oh, hey, 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 stew. We can finally get some. Hi, Tilly. There he is, the Domino's master. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. John. Evening, Morgan. Evening. Uh, Evening. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, Arthur. I left something for you by your tent. Just to say thanks for the harmonica. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Can I finally just? I can't. I want some soup too. I was standing on the wrong wrong side of the thing. Well, obviously. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, does somebody have a quest for me? Look. There's a question mark. Maybe it's Mary Beth again? She usually has something to say. To us. Is that Billy actually? Yeah. I think we should talk to her. Hey. There she is. Oh, I was too slow. When are we gonna play dominoes again? Well, let's see. Hmm, too bad. I was too slow. Oh yeah, the stew is way better. See? Yellow course, that's good. That's really good. Good evening, the Arthur. The upgrades are paying off. Okay there, Arthur? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you ladies, Mary Beth? Hey there. Good evening, Arthur. You okay? You don't no, see actually yourself. it was Karen that I was yes, talking I'm to right. earlier. Why? Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Alright, Arthur. Just worried sometimes. Hmm. All right. Good for you. Hmm. Is there evening, any... Arthur. Oh, evening, Kieran. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Look. Keep your nose clean. He's got in some new clothes. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Well, good talking to you. Good talking to you too. I like you. All right. I wonder if there will ever become a day when he is like officially part of the gang. Citizen. Maybe someday. Enjoy my coffee. So, Hi, Abigail. So what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah. I agree. It'll do for now. Ah, uncle. Ah, oh, sorry, Hosea. Uncle, uncle. How are you doing? Lenny? Oh, joy conversation. Yes. You boys mind if I sit down a while? They don't. <sighs> Been a tough few weeks. Hi, Jason. Huh? Okay, then. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I... I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just... Find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch, same as Jose. It's okay, people. It's okay. We're gonna eat. Guys. I don't want to die, but if I have to, I will. So, forgive me, all of you. I didn't seem very talkative. Gentlemen. Arthur. You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. I agree. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure, Arthur. He's actually pretty smart. I like Lenny. Well, I like all of these people. What's been going on? You know, this and that. Well, I'll leave you to whatever that is. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Now that we are here, I do want to take a look at the ledger. Maybe we could update the camp some more because I did not take a proper look at this before. <laughs> I guess we could send somebody to get some uh, medicine and uh, food. Ah. I need to donate to the camp, obviously. Uh, where is the contribute? Actually, I'm gonna give them almost everything. Mm, and then... 
Actually, this could be good. Yeah. But I like upgrading the camp because after that it looks nicer and obviously people are going to be happier and it's just, uh, I don't know. I like that. I like seeing, you know, visible improvements. I think that's very satisfying. So originally I was planning to do some hunting today and maybe take a closer look at the area surrounding the camp because I want to get to know that a little bit better but... Fortunately, we are running out of time today. I'm leaving the town for a few days, so I still need to do some packing and everything. So, and I hate to leave this here, but you know, it is what it is. But I feel like today's episode was a pretty good like introduction to chapter three. As I told you before, I really like this camp. It's beautiful, cozy. I feel like this feels more homey than the previous one. It, like, I know that I said that Horseshoe Overlook felt like home, but this is just different. I like the vibe of this area and I feel like everybody in the camp is in a good mood so that's good. I can see now why it's not good to just wander too far into the wild I think or you know take a look at all the you know different places in, on the map before the main story kind of leads you there because I feel like this was a good introduction to roads and well I've obviously been there before so I kind of knew you know something about the town already but it would have felt a little different if I didn't, you know, take a look at the place before. But yeah, I think we're going to spend some more time in roads. And I would like to go back and actually take a proper look at the town. Because we already paid a visit to the gunsmith earlier. But there was the saloon and there's this thing, you know, between the two families. The grace and the... what was the other one? The prayer... I don't remember. It started with B. But these two families and I want to know what's going on between them because it sounded interesting. So yeah, I hope that you don't mind that today's episode is probably going to be a little shorter than the previous ones. But well, let's see if I can make it up to you in the next episode. <laughs> Who knows? And I will thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.